Why auto insurance companies sometimes won't pay your claim even if their insured admitted fault to you at the scene of the accident. Hi, I'm Tom Friedman. I'm a lawyer in Nevada, and I have a client right now that was involved in an auto accident. He was driving straight down the highway. Another driver was merging onto the highway and just smashed right into him. While they're at the scene of the accident, they exchange information, and the bad driver says to my client, hey, I'm sorry, I'm at fault, I admit it, but don't worry, I've got insurance. Insurance will take care of it. So they exchange information and that was that no police came, no police report, there were no witnesses and they both went on their way. So what happens? My client calls up the insurance company for the bad driver, Geico, and what does Geico say? We deny your claim. Well, why in the heck would they be denying the claim? Their own insured told my client right at the scene, admitted fault. Well, it turns out in this particular case, Geico tried calling their own insured, the guy that caused the accident, and he's not responding to them. So they can't get a statement from him. All they know is my client says their driver was at fault, but they haven't heard from their driver. Well, unfortunately, insurance companies have learned that in auto accident cases, as well as others, not everybody tells the truth 100% of the time. So it's not necessarily a knock on my client, it's a policy that insurance carriers have that require them to confirm fault before they're going to pay damages. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to get evidence. And if somebody admits fault to you at the scene, that's great as long as they don't change their mind and as long as they report the same thing to their insurance carrier. But you kind of got to trust but verify. So what you should do is ideally if there's a police report there and the other person's ticketed, that really goes a long way to help. If the person's admitting fault, record it. If you've got a recording of them saying, you know, I'm sorry, I'm at fault, insurance will take care of it, that's golden. You can send that to their insurance carrier and they're going to have a real hard time weaseling out of that one. Um, also, if there's uh, witnesses around, you want to go and get the information from the witnesses so you can contact them later to confirm what happened. In the case with my particular client, even though the bad driver said that he would, you know, said he was at fault and said his insurance would take care of it, because he's not responding to his insurance company, Geico's not taking care of it. But my client was smart enough to have a dash cam on his car. And when I watch that video, we see my client driving straight and we see this other guy just flying on the on-ramp and just smashes right into him. And that dash cam clearly shows the other car. So it's great evidence to demonstrate that the other driver is at fault. So videos, police reports, witnesses, photos, recorded statements, anything you can get at the scene to prove your case is very important because keep in mind, Whoever caused the accident may well admit it, but they might change their mind and they might not contact their insurance carrier and let them know the same thing. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, and thanks very much for watching.